and he can do what he's going to do or not do what he's going to do, but he should be able to. August 7th at 1 o'clock, or would it be a 9 a.m.? It will, I will set it at 9. We will send it in right now that we have your appearance, so you'll get a direct invite from us as to what time o'clock he's at. Okay, and then I just need one moment to talk to my client. You yes. want to tell me something. Me to set a nominal bond on this so that he gets credit or do nothing and not worry about it. It's well, I did not know about it, Your Honor. I, okay. Counsel, there is not a doubt in my mind that that's true. Yeah, I, in all fairness to counsel, because I don't know if counsel knows this or not, the way I know that he's never had a license is because May 3rd, 1990, he's never, he, he was 19 at the time. May 3rd, 1999, he applied for his first Michigan ID. Council knows, so I do, you cannot have both. You either have an ID or you have a license, one of the two. He has religiously every year <laughs> um, gotten a new ID. And so he knows that he doesn't have a license. And quite frankly, I just wish he would have said that at the beginning. And all of this hoopla could have been just put all aside. And we all go through the process as we do with all of the people coming here to try to get him his license back. But his falsehoods, misstatements, are not going to fare him well in this court. I'm done for now. I'm sure I will have something else to say. Whoever, whichever one of you would like to speak first, you may. I'll wait to go last. <laughs> yes, um, I spent yesterday at the Pittsfield Council Police Department with Officer Monastery for the traffic stop in this case. Um, I also noticed the December 2023 date. And I, I know the significance of that, and the court just went through that in safety. And I thank you for that. Um, in addition, at the traffic stop, I with when I was at the police department yesterday, we watched the body cam video at least twice during this traffic stop. He acknowledged to the officer that he did not have a valid license. Quote unquote, quote, actually, I don't have a valid license. Close quote. The question was, are you a valid driver? Quote, I am not. Close quote. So, you know, this, this is all, all this hoopla and the circus atmosphere, it is, in my opinion, it's an affront to the justice system. I mean, I've been across here for more than 30 years, and to see this kind of hoopla around a driving while license suspended case is ridiculous. And it wasn't caused by this court. It wasn't caused by the Pittsfield Township Police Department. It was caused by the, the extra judicial statements made outside of this courtroom. Thank you. Okay. So go ahead, Council. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Well, first thing I'd like to say is very first thing is we're here and that we 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 all saw this video. We didn't, I wasn't in court, I wasn't even on YouTube watching the court today, right? I saw it because someone saw it and decided to make a, decided to post it. I can assure you that that was not Mr. I don't think he has the capacity to be able to post it like that on YouTube or, or Instagram. So that was not him. And it happened to take, take off and go viral. So he had no, what we saw was him saying what? I'm, he was driving, which he should not have been driving, right? We're not, we're told not to drive on Zoom while doing that. So that's how this came to, came came to the attention because the court, I saw you, he said, I can't believe this, is he driving? And we all said that everyone who saw that video asked the same question. And that just, it became the, it became a joke. It became a complete joke. Now with respect to why, what we want to do, and I cannot say anything is with respect to what my client has said, but when we talk about the hoopla, my client didn't start the hoopla. Perhaps he's made some comments, but he didn't start the hoopla whatsoever. That was someone that was outside that was outside of his control as to how it went viral. He had no control over that, and that I'm going to stand on that. He did not. He did not send it out to Instagram. He didn't send it out to wherever. He didn't do that part. So, with respect to 
did he have a, a I, I don't want to try this case today no at all. But what I want to do is focus on what's good. Now, what was good? That day in October, this officer here, that could have gone a whole other direction. And I'm so happy that you were so kind and courteous to my client. Thank you, officer. Thank you so much. Because it could have gone another direction. We are here right now. My client has a, a an appointment to go to the Secretary of State for his permit. He's working on that. I want to focus on how do we correct this and cure this? How do we go forward with this situation? Whatever, he was not under oath under any of the things that he said. So we're not talking about any type of perjury going on. Right. Very true, right? True. So with that being the case, let's move forward with this. He is here. I, what I'd like, this is what I'd like. Because- I to, Let me just- Yes. I would like to move forward too yes. on this case. We handle these cases all the time. But I will tell you, as you know, having appeared before me, the one thing I don't like is when people don't take responsibility for what they've done. When they take responsibility for it, we will use whatever we can to try to get you to another spot because it doesn't behoove any of us for you to be in that spot. One other thing that I will say, when you say it wasn't started by him, oh, it certainly was. It certainly was when he made his first statement to WXYZ about blaming people for this happening. And he shouldn't have done it because when you look at the whole thing, the person that needed to be blamed, and we can go back to a very, a lot of other points, but I'm not here to embarrass it, but the person that needed to be blamed is the person that he was staring at in the mirror. He didn't do what he should have done. And that's okay. The majority of people that come here on a license thing didn't do what they were supposed to do. That's like a given. They don't go about blaming anybody. They just say, Your Honor, I didn't pay the ticket. Your Honor, I just didn't do it. I just didn't have the time to do it. I just didn't take whatever. Right. Just own it. Once you own it, then it becomes a whole lot easier just to move forward. Okay, I'm sorry. I interrupted you and I said I wouldn't, but Thank my, you. I my court. I, <laughs> no, no, I know who you are and I respect that. So and, and where I am is where I've always been. Because I can assure you that when he did speak to WXYZ, that day he, I wasn't representing him. I, re, I was representing him yesterday, right? And what did, and you would hear, heard my message is that what steps are to correct this. And that's what I'm about, Your Honor. How do we correct this, right? I understand the entire process. I have not gone into detail, but I will take the word of the court and of Mr. Stiller here, Brother Counsel, and about the background and the, and the history of it. But how do we go forward? And that's why, and that's why I'm here to sort of minimize, you okay? And he, he, he did get into an accident. Can May, sit down. Down. Can can sit May, down. please, Your Honor. Right behind, oh, well, hold on. Okay. And now that's real. That's a real injury. I, I have no comment. Okay. So what we're looking for, because there are some options here, my client has indicated to me and would like me to indicate to the court that he is in the process of procuring his license. Oh, hopefully that privilege will be available to him, but he does have, as you stated earlier, and I have the receipts. He did pay the reinstatement fee. Those fees are paid. Anything that was out in the previous court, those fees have been paid and I've been presented with those receipts. In addition, on tomorrow, he's got his permit test coming up. And then after that, because he's an adult, he's working on it so that he can take advantage of the offers that are available. Because as you say, this court does want to help. Absolutely. And with that, because my client was in an accident and, and I haven't seen the medical records, but because of some of the things it could be, we don't, I don't know, but sometimes our memories gets a little, get a little foggy. Now, am I going back to 1999? No, I'm not. But I'm just saying that I don't want, I'm saying from this day forward, he is working diligently 
to take the steps necessary to get his driver's license so he can take advantage of the generous offer. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Um, yes, Mr. I to say, Mr. One additional thing. I think Fletcher Cox and I need to approach the bench. It may involve Mr. Allen. Who's Mr. I Allen? know because I know what it is. Okay. okay. Thank you. Um, well, who's Mr. Allen? That's my bailiff. Oh. Um, I, I will give out whatever date I can. Okay. Counsel, you probably didn't know this, and I wasn't sure where the prosecutor was going to bring. He's got a warrant. For, no, I did not know. Yes, he has a warrant for his arrest. Uh, a bench warrant out of... Allen Park. Allen Park. Mr. Allen. 24th District Court. Okay. The shocking thing about it is for a driving while license suspended that he didn't take care of. Okay. Well, like I said, he, so, he wants to handle. So what dedicated. it is, is that, and it's a valid warrant. I happen to be within their radius of pickup. Now, having said that, I don't know if they will pick him up. Okay. I will say that when he... What should have happened, I'm not going to go through and try to figure out whether it did happen, but when he was arrested, when he turned himself in on my revocation of bond, upon being released, he should have been apprised, warned and released to go take care of it. I don't know whether he was. I really don't care whether he was or not. All I know is that was back at mid-May, and it hasn't been taken care of. And it's still valid. I was hoping, maybe, that somebody was going to try and take care of it because I'm sure if you had known, they would have been done. So much so that part of my delay in getting out of here was to make sure that it was valid. I had my staff run him right before I came out. So that if it hadn't gotten taken care of and in, then fine, we were okay and I didn't need to deal with it. Right. But it's still there. Okay. So, will July 17th work as a new date for you? To come back, because as I understand it, he is right now not licensed. So if he goes in on Thursday, gets his permit, he's got to drive for at least 30 days. Apparently he knows how to do that part. Sorry, that was, that was I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't need to say that. But he knows how to do that part, but then he's got to go back, take the test. Right. And then he can do that. He may be able to accomplish it in that time, that 45 day period. If not, I mean, counsel, I'll, I just want him to have a license. We, we all want the same thing. One one moment. So the seventeenth, it may not be me. It would be another attorney from my office. Who can well, I don't want that. Try. I don't want that. You, you want me? Yeah. Okay. I know you'll never hear me say that. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. right. but I don't want to go through this whole. You you understand it, right? No, I get it. So I start a trial on the fifteenth. And uh, sir, what's my date after the seventeenth? August seventh. What about August seventh? We can just put it out. And then he can do what he's going to do or not do what he's going to do, but he should be able to. August 7th at one o'clock or would it be a nine? Eight? It will. I will set it at nine. We will send it in right now that we have your appearance. So you'll get a direct invite from us as to what time o'clock he's in. Okay. And then I just need one moment to talk to my client. He yes. to tell me something. Okay. August 7th at 9 a.m. At 9 a.m. I'm going to take him into custody on the warrant. The only question that I have, and, and the way I look at the warrant, it, the bond is, looks like $500. Okay. Two things. First, I don't know whether or not they'll come get him. Right. If they don't come and get him, we'll, we'll release him. We're not going to hold him. Um, if 
they are coming to get him and he's going to be held. The only question I would have for you, counsel, is do you want me to set a nominal bond on this so that he gets credit or do nothing and not worry about it? It's, it, I'll leave that up to you. Hey, you know, this time of year, we all keep getting 